Hello, so my name is Danielle Giancarli. If you don't already know, my dog is, will not stop barking. Max! <sighs> Anyways, we're gonna go on. So today is December 22nd, 2017, which is a monumental day because I'm gonna be posting my first vlog. So preface on this, you're probably thinking, why is this video so long? I know it's long, I understand, but this is going to be my first makeup tutorial and I wanted to just make it an overview and like you see in the title it's called my encyclopedia because it's my routine this would be a typical look that I would wear probably going out with my friends at school you know it's it's a full face video um, in the future I won't post all my contouring and foundation and stuff like that I'll just do probably the looks so in terms of like eyeshadow lips if I'm putting on a special maybe one type of like uh, highlighter or something like that I plan to make them around five to six minute videos in the future but for now I wanted to make sure that this video showed you all the steps so if you want to see every part of my routine when I am doing a full face look here it is I'm so excited to show you all I filmed this when I was still at school last week in California so it's at my beauty station, at my beauty desk, and I'm really excited to show you guys, and I'm really excited to begin this journey vlogging and starting YouTubes, and also just posting a lot of different types of videos, just my day-to-day -day and everything, because I want this to be more of a lifestyle blog, not just me doing makeup. So get excited. I'm so happy that you're watching this, if you are, and here we go. As you can see, I have no makeup on. A little bit of finals blemishes from stress. First product is Nip and Fab Hydrate. It's a plumping serum. So basically, you're gonna put a little on your finger, and I'll explain what it is as I do it. So I just go. It keeps your skin wetter and locks in the moisture from the moisturizer. I use a really basic moisturizer. I use CeraVe. It's really easy. Like I don't like moisturizers that have a lot of things in them. It's simple. I like to moisturize all over. Like I said, I'm putting this on top of the serum that I just used for the hydration. So I usually use a Marc Jacobs foundation, I swear by it. But when I went to the mall to Sephora, they ran out of it or didn't have my color, whatever. I went to Ulta and they gave me this Estee Lauder one. I don't feel like putting the cap back on to show you the name. It's Estee Lauder. Wardrobe change, I was way too hot in that sweater. It's from the men's section of Forever 21. I think it's dope. I love tie dye. First, I put on some primer before face. I usually do eyes before face, but we're gonna mix it up. I've actually been mixing it up, that's a lie. So this is kind of a weird packaging. See how it has like a sponge here? Put it everywhere. Not blending it at all, just tapping it. This sponge is kind of helpful for like around like crevices, like your nose or upper lip. So I'll give it, I'll give them credit for that. Totally not blended, just spots. Beauty Blender. They sell these Evian like water spray things and I just use it as my, like how to wet this because I'm too lazy to go to the sink. Just water in a spray can and I just spray it. If you do your makeup at a sink, even better. But yeah, so I, here we go. Just tap the makeup into my skin. All around. Honestly, I just do on top of the lip a little anyway. Okay, so I'm not a heavy coverage foundation person, and I don't really use that much concealer. I um, use light coverage because you can't see the bumps in person, but it doesn't look like you have too much on either. So I don't really need heavy coverage for my day to day, but like if I was gonna be on like TV or something, where everything is just through the camera, then I would probably use heavy coverage. We're gonna go with Please MAC. It's called Burgundy Times Nine. Okay, well that's a cool name anyway. So it's very pretty, I think. I mean, I bought it, so. You know when you're like a neat freak, but you're also lazy? Like that's kind of what I am. I want my brush to be clean, but I'm lazy about it and they take a while to do. On the spot cleaner and I just like spray the brush I'm gonna use. I like wipe it off and then like there's the rest of whatever was on it. It's not really clean, but it's like a lazy clean freak, you know? It's like a crease brush. I'm gonna get this uh, light color. It's like a very transitional color. Put this in the crease. Get it really in there. And again, like I don't really make sure that I'm not making a mess. I just kind of do it so that it's where I need it to be and then I'll clean it up later. Almost fell. I got you a little bugger. 
can see, like I said, very transitional color. Can't really like see anything, honestly. So, or at least I can't. These lights are blinding. I'm gonna use this color on the bottom with the same brush. So I'm just gonna concentrate on more towards the outside. Again, it's just another transitional color, but I'm not gonna put any over here. Focusing on this side of the lid. See how the difference just makes it shadowy. Now we're really gonna start like smoking this out and shaping it and like getting it to look good. Take this brush, it's kind of like an angled fluffy brush. Use this center color. You want it to be on this outsider, outside part again, but like also still like very in the crease. So like down like that, just around, down, and then over. So like kind of just outlines it and then like tucks it in. And then I turn it this way. So see like, this way and I just tuck it in, tuck it in, tuck it in. Okay, so I like that, I think. So I'm taking another like creasy type of brush, but like kind of more tight, dark purple. I'm gonna put it like on the actual lid. And this stays on the lid. You don't want this in the crease. Only like a little bit, like touching it. And make sure you get all the way down to the lashes. Yes, we like it. I like it. I think I like this one better. And if you feel like yours isn't looking as big as mine, like I have really big eyelids and eyes and a huge head in general as you can tell so everything's look more dramatic on me it is normal and you're not doing it wrong okay so now this is looking smoky keep the brush out and don't clean it because you're gonna use it for another color and i like to use the same brushes so that the colors like reminisce together now we're gonna get this flat brush and i'm gonna use the lighter like shimmery purple i'm just gonna tap it onto one side of it that way i could still use this side just to blend in the product without having it on so you're not adding product you know what i'm saying tap the light purple on the inside and up stay on the lid don't go in the crease blend it in because you're just wiping the dark onto the light or vice versa and it kind of just makes them mix cool okay so now we're gonna use this brush again that i said don't clean use the fun black sparkly one kind of darken this up a little bit you're gonna get the black on here and then you're gonna like i said outside this only stays right here and i'm just gonna like this you're gonna spin it spin it on there and then pat 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 and i go a little under like an eyeliner up here. So same thing on this eye I'm gonna use this side now and I'm gonna put some black on it. And I'm gonna just fill in the spots. Honestly, I'm gonna use a little bit more purple. Don't go far enough for you have to blend more. Just put it where the purple is. That is done with the eyeshadow. I would maybe do a wing liner if I was going out, but once I get better at that, we'll do a video for that. I'm gonna use more of this and I'm gonna put it on my hand. I'm gonna take this brush, it's like a, like a concealer brush. Go and clean up where I don't want the makeup to be. Just pat it, pat it in. And then I do a little here. Once you have that line done, you can see more of the shape and how you like it anyway too. I use Benefit Goof Proof. So I like to use this side first and just brush them. They're not perfect right now. Then you use this side. And we're just gonna outline them. I like the shape of my brows, so I don't really change it. I think I have good shape. And it's okay if you mess up, like I mess up, see? So this is really easy to just rub off because it's like a cream, it's not a pencil. Even if it's not perfect and you can't rub it away, we're gonna fix it with like highlight, so it's fine. And then I like to make it more natural and just brush them, like brush them into the shape that I created and then brush it all down other side and then even if you wiped away too much you can always add a little let's beat this face i've been doing a little bit of fenty so i'm gonna take mocha yeah that didn't work okay i'm going to 
again, like this is my face shape. It's not the same for everyone. Unfortunately, I wish I had a different face and could show everyone different ones, but I don't. I feel like my face kind of wide, so I like to just go make it in and then a little up here. Maybe just like a little, a little bit. Sometimes go here. Okay, so that's my contour. I like to blend with a brush first. So I'm going to spray a little more laziness again. So it's wet. And I just make sure you blend up. Then I'm going to take the bead blender. Keep it above the line that you drew. Blend this down and out. And don't worry if this is not perfect because... We're gonna do the highlight over top of it and then put some powders. Yeah. I have some cheekbones. Okay, so now we're gonna highlight. I'm gonna go out. So that, see what's kind of like a triangle, like long and then small. And dab it up, back down. Then we do some lip action, just a little there. Up my nose, it's kind of out. Under here, dab it, so on the line that you made. Back 130 to see how it's kind of has different bristles. Like these black ones are shorter than the white, so kind of can blend it like a sponge. Patting it, I'm not like scrubbing it. I can roll it and all the way up to here. You can get it in there. Underneath, just cleaning this up. The other side. Do your chin. This kind of will, like I said, get rid of more of, like you can use it as a concealer. And then I think it looks more natural if you do it just at the end, not use it as like a primer too, because I think that's just too much. Just like you use this brush before to clean up under here, I like to use it over here too. So I really use it just as like a cleanup brush. I don't really use it for anything else. So you're gonna take a little bit of the Fenty, the light color, brush it right off. And you're not touching the color, you're just really going under the brow. Even do a little over it. I am going to use some bronzer. Big brush, swirl it up in there. Just swirly, swirly, swirly. Like you're drawing a squiggle that goes down, but like do it around your face. I'm gonna use a kind of warmer, more nude type of blush. Swirl it up in there because the brush is bigger than the palette. Waft it out. Swirl it up in there again. And then you're gonna do the other side. Just like the contour, but way higher. You can even, don't put any more bronzer on the brush, but just wipe it away so that it looks more natural again. I totally realized that I forgot to put on an eyeliner. This is not the normal order that I do things, but I wanna put on eyeliner. So I'm gonna use this Bobbi Brown eyeshadow, sorry, eyeliner gel. I'm gonna use the one that it came with, so two sides. I'm gonna tap it in here. I'm just gonna swipe it on the top. It doesn't have to be one motion because I think that's when you get carried away with the thickness. Like, keep it going and don't let go. Like don't keep pushing and moving around. Just when if it misses that part then just keep doing the same stroke and it'll eventually get the whole line. And again this is if you're just if you're going for the smoky look is what my is what I'm saying. I usually like to do the liner right after I just clean this up because then it gives me a line, if I'm gonna do something dramatic, it gives me a line of like where to put it. Make sure that they're even. Okay, so that's about as even I think as we're gonna get them. Just add some purple under. So now we're gonna set everything. I'm gonna use this palette and I'm gonna use the middle light and this one, which you can see I use a lot. And I'm just gonna blend it in. Kind of like the effect of baking, but I don't really like to bake or I just really don't. The highlight, I use Becca Champagne Pop. Most of my brushes are Sephora, by the way. If anyone was wondering, that's what they are. So I just like to get it on here. Don't I don't like to let it touch the outside because like I like set it with the outside. So even if it does touch the outside, I go like this just to rub it off. So then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna touch it here. Just tapping and up. And I'm gonna do the same thing where I tap it again. And then I'm gonna go up. But I'm gonna use the very thin middle. Don't let it touch the sides of the nose, just the top. A little on the forehead just because I get carried away and I love it. 
and then on the lip. Okay, so right after I do my highlight is when I usually put on my lip primer. I use a MAC one. And that eye, it's not right before I do my lipstick, so it's kind of settled into the skin. So now I'm gonna add some mascara, cause literally, what else is better in the world? I'm gonna use this black oil. My mom got it for me, and I think she even got it on like QVC or whatever. I think it's awesome. If you can't use mascara, I'm sorry, but you can't do anything else I explained to you today. That's my mascara. I'm not gonna line my lips or anything. I'm just gonna. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's almost like that was the liner. I'm gonna use a little bit of this purple. Outline it over here. Not too much on the top. You can blend it a little. Then I'm gonna use some pink gloss. I don't even know where this is from. And then go in the middle. And then blend. Just plump your lips. To finish off this look, I'm going to use some all-nighter setting spray or ring decay. I like to do things more than you're supposed to, so I spray it a lot. It's a little wet looking right now, but honestly, I like it like that. I wish it could sit like this the whole night. This is the final look. Shooting looks, yo. Both angles. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish I could turn this around. So this is a mirror picture vibe of the finished product. Mm -hmm, so yeah, um, that's it for now. I hope you guys like this. I'm gonna try to do more if this gets some positive reactions, but I think I'm gonna do it regardless. I don't really care. Hopefully this will help you or inspire you to create your own looks and we can share them and it'll be so fun. Bye guys.